Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, John Prendergast and Embre Uger. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are giving shout outs in my videos and you can easily become a member by clicking the join button on any page. All right, let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation, a really simple one, but I think the methods used here are kind of important. Uh, even though this problem is a simple one, it's a really nice one. Anyways, y prime is equal to x times y. And we're going to solve this problem in two ways. So I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first method. My first method involves, obviously, uh, the first method is always a little bit more complicated or uh, more roundabout. So I'm going to start with my original problem, y prime is equal to xy, and then I'll differentiate both sides. When I differentiate on the right-hand side, obviously when I differentiate y prime, it's going to be y double prime, which is the second derivative of y with respect to x or the derivative of the derivative. derivative. So when you uh, apply it on the right-hand side, you're going to get the product rule. So the derivative of x, which is 1, multiplied by the second function, plus the derivative of the second function multiplied by the first function, which is x. And if you simplify this a little bit, y prime becomes y plus y prime times x. y double prime, sorry. y double prime becomes y plus y prime x. Now, we kind of have the y and the y prime and the y double prime. Obviously, you can kind of solve it, solve this equation as is, but I'd like to uh, use substitution here and notice that from the original problem, we can write the y as y prime over x. So I'm going to go ahead and replace y with that. And that way, I'm getting rid of the y and I'm ending up with the derivative is only. So this gives me the following. y double prime equals y prime over x, which replaces y, plus y prime times x. Now notice that the right-hand side can be factored. Uh, we can take out y prime. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to get 1 over x plus x. And now we can make a common denominator. Well, I guess you don't need to because it's probably better that way. Now, here's what we can do. We can divide both sides. And obviously, uh, I'm going to make some assumptions here. You know, y prime does not equal 0, so on and so forth. And I pretty much want everything to be positive because I'm going to be using logarithms and I don't really want to deal with absolute value. If you want, you can. But y double prime divided by y prime can be written as 1 over x plus x. Now, at this point, I have the second derivative and the first derivative, but I don't have the function itself, uh, which is fine, but I don't want to deal with the second derivative. So let's go ahead and use substitution one more time. I think one of the things that I really like about the solution is, even though it's a long one, uh, we're using a lot of substitution. And you know I like substitution. So anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, say set y prime equals u. And that gives us uh, u prime over u equals 1 over x plus x. Now, at this point, uh, you can definitely integrate both sides. And let's see what happens if you do. The integral of u prime over u dx is going to be the same as the integral of 1 over x plus x dx. So we're integrating with respect to x because both of these are functions of x. And u prime over u, as you will remember, as you will remember, uh, that is the deriv derivative of ln u, right? Obviously, uh, you can just replace it with ln u, and I'm just going to assume that u is always positive. If not, then you can use the absolute value sign, obviously, and you can do that uh, as well. So anyways, so ln u comes uh, from the integral of u prime over u, and uh, if you integrate 1 over x, you're going to get ln x. Again, I'm going to assume x is positive. If not, then use the absolute value, plus the derivative of, I mean, not the derivative, the integral of x is x squared over 2, I'm using the power rule, and then of course at the end I have to use a constant, right? Great. Now, since we have the ln u, I want to get u from here, and u is equal to e to the power ln u, so it's equal to e to the power ln x plus x squared over 2 
plus C, lots of things. Now notice that these can be separated, ln e to the power ln x times e to the power x squared over 2 times e to the power C, but e to the power C is a constant, come on. We can call that K, and then e to the power ln x is the same thing as x, right? You probably know that, because e to the power ln u is always u. So we get the following for u. u becomes k times x times e to the power x squared over 2. But remember, we're not looking for u, we're looking for someone else, right? Okay, not this is not u, u, but the u variable u. So u is equal to y prime. So this is y prime y prime is equal to kx e to the power x squared over 2. At this point, you have dy over dx, so you can integrate both sides with respect to x and get the y from here. And to integrate, you would basically use the u substitution again. Of course, it's not going to be the same u. If you want, you can call that t. So you're going to say something like t equals x squared over 2, and then dt is going to be, you know, x dx, I believe, right? Okay. And then you can just substitute. And that's going to be easy to do. Or you don't have to integrate here if you don't want to. Uh, you could substitute. Yay! Awesome. Because what? Uh, y prime is the same as xy. Therefore, you can just replace this y prime with xy. And that's going to give you xy equals k times x times e to the power x squared over 2. And now I'm going to assume that x does not equal 0. Again, a lot of assumptions I'm making. I know some people are going to be mad at me. But anyways, so from here we get the y value. And y is just going to be k times e to the power x squared over 2, where k is a constant, of course. Now, are there any other obvious solutions? For example, can y be equal to 0? Uh, absolutely. If you check it out, if y is equal to 0, then y prime is going to be 0, and this is going to work. Okay, great. Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method now, and let's see how that works. Okay, second method. The second method is basically... Uh, obviously much simpler, right? Of course, no, po no pain, no gain. y prime is equal to xy. Now, I can write y prime as dy over dx equals xy. And now, this is actually a separable differential equation. So why don't we just separate the variables, write this as dy over y equals x dx. And now, integrating both sides, we're going to get the following, right? Okay, I'll maybe use a nicer, brighter color. Okay, like this one. Okay. Um, and the, if you integrate, again, I'm going to assume y is positive, so it's just going to be ln y. The integral of x is x squared over 2 uh, plus c as before. And then I'm going to do the y equals e to the power ln y thing again, e to the power x squared over 2 plus c, which is e to the power c times e to the power x squared over 2. And as you know, e to the c is a constant, so I can call that k. And now y becomes k times e to the power x squared over 2. And again, with the first solution, obviously y equals 0 is going to work. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.